Night and Aladdin all up in this piece We ain't here to talk spit, not here to talk street We were asked to teach us something and we're fun to do it We are fun to tell y'all about the physics of music Let me tell you something here about frequency It happens when objects start to vibrate, you see A push or a flick will cause an object to shake Too much frequency will cause your head to ache Somebody's can only be heard if the amplitudes of the vibration are large enough. Heard that, dudes? It's really simple. It doesn't take much to think that frequency equals speed divided by wavelength. A wave is energy once it's in motion. When it moves through the air, it causes a commotion. It travels through objects like a bird through the air, transporting energy from here to there. Sound is the result of vibrating, and it uses a medium to travel, you see. When you put the two together, you create a sound wave. They push and pull on objects so that they are displaced. Amplitude is a change of atmospheric pressure caused by sound waves using an atmospheric measure directly related to the intensity of sound. Amplitude has the power to knock to the ground. It's also the amount of force applied over an area. Moving to the same next just might scare you. The noise that I'm scared is all what you can hear. And if I say it's you just might simply anything. It's not really hard to explain If an object is at rest then the sound will be plain Once the object starts moving in and out of range Then the pitch of the noise it makes starts to change Going Mach 1 is not an easy task One must be at the leading edge of the sound noise they have If it breaks the speed of sound it'll make a sonic boom And you won't hear the sound till it passes you You feel the ground shake is not your imagination. The feeling you feel is called force vibration. Force vibration equals an increase in amplitude. When Kajo plays the chill, he shakes the house. Dude, resonance and vibration are related to each other. When one object vibrates, so it is another. When I play the very same, people around me shake since large vibration is the result of resonance. Yo, listen up, cause I'm here to say How the cello and the bass and the strings I'm in the play When you pull a bus across the string and make a sound It's the result of all those sound waves bouncing around The bridge starts to shake and vibrate too Trying to produce some really nice music for you Once the waves and the sound waves they get amplified And my rhythm and the beat take you for a ride Separate using a close end of their column. It can only move in one direction, not from the bottom. The air column determines the pitch of the note. This is important so you don't sound like a goat. The instruments produce vibrations on the reed, so the reed vibrates at its natural frequency. When instruments produce harmonic, you have a very no wave, but only odd ones are produced like what's the opposite of that, okay? How to supply to me? Well, listen up, cause it's real easy. When you're listening to all your MP3s without sound waves, that simply would not be. Jam into your songs, getting in the zone. No frequencies will make that all monotone. Dark Knight Aladdin, that's how we do it. We love to get down with the physics of music.